say so. Amen. Amen. Now he says, if you're ashamed to confess me before me, I'll be ashamed to confess you before my Father. Amen. Now I want to ask you again, has the Lord been good to you today? Yes. So he's so right. He is so right. He prays tonight. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, this is the way we work things. If you don't like the way we do it, just sit around a few minutes till we get done and I'll let you do it. Amen. <laughs> and we'll join and we'll sit and worship with you. Amen. Amen. But the most important thing tonight is let's lift up Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's exalt him. We're going to do a few hymnal songs to start with. Uh, I'd like to start out with Victory in Jesus, page 120. Is there anybody in the house who would like a song book? Brother Jason, uh, one of our deacons is hands both. Is we bought a whole book of song, a whole box of song books. And if you'd like to sing with us, amen, hold your hand up and Brother Jason will bring you a song book. Amen. 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 Now, I tell them at hands of hope, Brother Jamie, don't be milly mouthing around. You're going to sing. <laughs> hold it up. Amen. We don't know music, me and Tana don't. We don't know, we don't know notes. I don't even, I can't even tell you without Tana writing it down for me in this book what the song is written in. I don't know. And somebody said, well, how do you all sing? I said, we sing by letter. And they said, by letter? I, I've never heard of it. You know, music people are like, what's letter? I've never heard of letter. I said, we open our mouths and let her fly. <laughs> Amen. That's how we sing, by letter. So tonight, here's what I want you to do. And these old, these just old hymnal songs, uh, I want you to just open your mouth and let it fly. And if people turn around and look at you funny, that's all right. They can get up and move. Just stand right where you're at and keep singing. Amen? Amen. Yeah, just have yourself a good time. Now, I got news for you. In a few minutes, before you know it, we're going to dismiss in prayer. And you're going to say, my God, that was good, but I didn't get enough up. What? Get, get up under the stack for the Lord is coming. Out. Amen. And just feel yourself full of the Lord tonight. Amen. How many of you, let me see, I want to see a show of hands. Amen. How many of you got victory tonight in Jesus? Amen. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Looking at the hands across the congregation. That's, that's beautiful. All right, let's sing it. Amen. Victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story How sin came on glory And how he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his glory For the precious words of Tony Then I read 
Hey, don't y'all get lazy on me. Come on up to your feet. I'll let you sit in a minute. Amen. Get on up on your feet. Let's sing. Amen. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I don't know about you, amen, but I have been in this community right here before when we've had a service and I've heard a gun fire. I hear cars spinning. Amen. Let's let them hear the good news tonight. Amen. Amen. Let's shout, let's rejoice, and let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You don't know, someone might be sitting back here behind or over in this direction or that way, contemplating suicide or feels like their life is over, and we can sing something, say something, amen, that would cause them to turn their life around. Amen. All because we are not ashamed. To give him praise. Amen. Amen. Now listen, you know Jesus said it like this. The Bible says that the disciples came back to him one time and they was rejoicing. And they said, Master, we have found that even the demons are subject unto us. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know about you, if I know that every time I hollered scat at the devil, he took off running, clawing, and scratching, trying to get away from me, that could excite me too. Come on now, amen. Amen. But listen to what Jesus said. He said, rejoice not over such matters as this. But rather rejoice because your names is found written in the Lamb's book. Amen. 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 I'm saved tonight. Amen. My name is in that book. And someday, soon, we're going to heaven's jubilee. Amen. And that's what this song says. Heaven's beautifully. Come on, help me sing. Sing out loud. Amen. I want you to drown me out. <laughs> so that morning we shall see Jesus in the air. Oh, yeah, I heard you with me. Joy is out to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Hey, boy. Golden rays of sunlight. 
you know, most of the time she just tells me a forward. I don't have a clue what we're getting ready to sing. Amen. <laughs> but God give me the gift of playing by ear. And as I said, uh, I don't I don't know any notes or any music, and so a lot of times she just tells me the chord, and I she takes off. So we need tonight to for you to pray for the anointing for us. Amen. Bobby asked for this song, and I told him, I said, now, most songs, you know, they're about $10, $15 songs. And I said, now, Bobby, this is a $20 song. You know, and I said, now, we need you to drop $20 in that often plate for grace tonight, amen, if you get this song. Amen. But how many of you know that God can? Amen. That's all we need to know. God can do it. Amen. He loves when people say, I know my God is able. I, I think so often about the three Hebrew children. When King Nebuchadnezzar uh, was getting ready to throw them into the flames, I love the statement that they said. They looked at him, Jamie, and said, we're not careful to answer you in this matter. We're not bowing to your God. And I love this part. This one is said. And this is a statement uh, and I believe moved heaven that day. I believe God stood up and said, hey, I'm going to deliver them no matter what. They said, we want you to know that even if, Come on, brother. even if God don't deliver us, he's still able. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> what a statement of faith. It, it, even, I mean, listen, they wasn't talking about getting a little snap on the hand. They were getting, uh, the king said, heat that oven, heat that up seven times hotter than we normally do. I'll make them bow. And they said, we're not here. We're, we're not going to do it. Because we know that even if he don't, he's still able to do it. Amen. 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 Can you imagine the devil that day, how he just scratched his head and he thought, they're stupid. They're stupid. I tell them at our church all the time, I would love Brother Green to have the reputation with the devil that he would say, He's so stupid, I don't even want to bother with him. The more I aggravate him, the more he praises the Lord. The more I put upon him, the more he wants to give God glory. Uh, so, uh, I, I, let's just tell him fool with him, because he's too dumb to fool. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't you like to have that kind of reputation with the demons and devils that they say, no matter what you do to them, let's go praise the Lord. So, let's go somewhere else where we can get some glory. Amen. Amen. Love to have that kind of reputation. This song simply says, God can. Hey, Benji, I'm going to turn this piano up for me up here on the monitor, for me on my speaker. So you may need to turn it down out there for me. Who can take the banker in off the street? Give him clothes and food to me. God can. I know God can. Yesterday, today, and forever. 
Can anybody testify to that? Amen. 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 I've seen him take broken homes because people let their guard down and the devil crept in. Amen. And utterly dis destroyed their homes. But God came along. Come on, brother. Put it back together and placed his love in it. Has anybody ever seen that happen? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I've seen him reach down to a trembling hand of a child that's confused and they don't understand. Come on. Amen. They don't know why they, they've been abused or why they have been bad. But God can place love in their hearts and in their little minds and comfort them in only a way that He can. Ain't He an awesome God? Amen. <laughs> He's so right with me. Amen. I think my allergies are acting up and it's just closing my throat off, so I'm going to try and sing this one last song. You're doing good, lady. As I wake up, the sun had begun to rise. I looked up at a beautiful blue sky. And as the sun rises higher, I feel it's Many years ago, there's a lighthouse. Amen. 
Any of you remember that old song? <laughs> There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks light sea when a tall ship sends out a light, a light. All right, you, y'all ready to come up here and do y'all call tonight? Yes, sir. Jesus. Hold on one second, Benji. One minute. Come on to the front, Lily. Y'all ready? My baby. Are you tossing the point of wind? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all the 
you don't have them six. They're offering praise to our King tonight, to our God. They're worshiping in truth and in spirit. How many of you know that out of the mouth of the babes and sons shall perfect praise God? Amen. Amen. Tonight, we're, we don't know. Uh, we have a text of scripture. And I told Brother Jamie, I said I may preach 10 minutes. And I may preach an hour in 10 minutes. I will be following the Holy Spirit tonight in what he wants to I don't have anything written down. Not again, nobody writing things down. I uh, probably ought to do quite a bit more of it myself. Uh, but usually when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes, I can't stay behind the podium long enough to read it. Amen. So, uh, if you have your Bibles and would like to read with me, I'm going to be in Exodus chapter 14, starting at verse 10. Uh, this week, uh, while going down I-85 in, uh, in the tractor and trailer, I, I love to listen to my Bible driving to work and from work. And the Lord spoke to me uh, while I was listening to this chapter. And I said, Lord, is that what you want me to preach on? Or, you know, and, and uh, so I've thought about it uh, different times this week, and I believe this is where the Lord is leading us. Amen. Uh, Exodus chapter 14, I'm going to be reading out the King James Version tonight, and, uh, uh, and I may switch over to the NLT, uh, but this is what he gave me tonight. And when Pharaoh drew near, or nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace. <laughs> How many of you know that life and death is in the power of the tongue? Huh? Yeah. Sometimes it would do us good just to shut our mouths and quit telling the devil all our secrets. Quit telling the devil all of our fears. Quit telling the devil uh, of how to conquer us. Amen. Come on now. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cryst thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. And I, as a, as a, I was listening to this, and the Holy Spirit was ministering to me in my truck, uh, I tell everybody, my old big truck's my prayer closet. Amen. It's where me and, me and God get along for hours and hours of talk. And, and, and I ain't interested in, in nothing that the world's got to say. Uh, usually if you turn anything on on the radio, if, if somebody uh, talking about politics and they're, they're down with somebody or running somebody down, I just don't want that filth in my head no more. I don't want to hear that joke. Amen. 
I want to know, and I tell people all the time, and you might get mad at me tonight, you might throw stones at me. Uh, I got news for you. It ain't going to matter who gets president. Amen. We're not, we're not going to recover by a man or woman helping us. Amen. We're only going to recover, amen, when we turn back to God. Amen. And we start looking to Him, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Now, I want you to know something tonight here if you're sitting under the sound of my voice. Uh, God is not interested, amen, in living in your past. Uh, he don't care where you've been. He don't care what you've done. Amen. God wants to live in your future. And God wants to take you and make all things become new in your life. Amen. And He wants you to quit looking backwards. He wants you to quit looking on, at right. the things that already has happened and has already been. And God says, I want to make all things new for you. Amen. Amen. How do we get there, amen? By simply walking by faith and not by sight, amen. God could never bless Israel because they always wanted to look to their past, amen. And all their past was nothing but slavery and being beaten by the taskmaster. Amen. Come on, brother. Some of you ain't getting where you want to be with God because you won't turn yesterday loose. Yes. You won't. Turn away. Jesus, that's what Jesus said. Jesus said, a man that lay hold on the plow and keeps looking back, he ain't fit yes. for the kingdom of heaven. I don't know about you, but I want to be fit for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. amen. I'm looking for King Jesus to come and make things uh, uh, perfect. Amen. Things right. Amen. I'm not looking for a president, amen, uh, to walk around in glory and honor. I'm looking for the King of Kings to come on a white stallion, amen, with Lord of Lord, down in Fisher, amen, and King of Kings. That's who I'm looking for, amen. That's who I'm rejoicing for, amen. And I got news for you, amen. He's the only one that can set you free tonight. He's the only one, amen, that can take you and set you and give you a brand new life to walk in, amen. You don't have to listen to the lies of the devil. You don't have to look behind you. Your future is in front of you. Yes. Yes. The Israelites never could get. They never could get what God wanted them to have. He said, I have got in store for you a land that is flowing with milk and honey. In other words, blessings that you can't even have room enough to contain. But all they could do is murmur, grumble, and complain. The food we have don't taste good. We don't have enough water. We don't have this. We don't have... Do you know the devil never, ever, ever, ever shows you what you have? Come on, brother. All he wants to show you is what you don't have. That's why Apostle Paul said, I have learned that whatever state yes. I find myself in, therein be content. Amen. You know why Paul said that? Paul said that because when you are content, amen, your devil can't do much for you or offer you or trick you into things. Amen. But when you wake up in the morning and you sit up on the edge of the bed and you say, God, thank you for another day of life. I don't know how I'm going to make it today. I don't know how I'm going to get my bills paid. But I know that I'm serving a God, amen, that nothing is impossible That's with. Good. I know that, amen, I, I don't know how, amen, I'm going to quench this old drug thirst that I have or alcohol thirst. But I'm going to put my faith in you, Jesus, uh, and I'm going to keep holding your hand. Amen. And I'm going to believe that you're going to get me through it uh, one day at a time. Jesus said it like this. He said, take no thought of tomorrow. You know why a lot of you ain't enjoying today? You know why you're not walking in, in blessedness? You know why you're not walking in victory? Because you're not thankful for today. In my Bibles, uh, my church has heard me quote this probably so many times that they, 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 they got it frontward and backward. But I was praying and reading, you know, and, and, and what Jesus said, take no thought of tomorrow. The Holy Spirit spoke to me, and I grabbed my ink pen off the counter, and I wrote down in my Bible, and I put it in just about every Bible I've got. I take all of them. And this is what the Holy Spirit told me. 
from that scripture. Tomorrow's worries rob you of today's joy. And I don't know about you, but I love my joy. Amen. And I ain't willing to give it up worrying about something that may never take place. Amen. I ain't worried, amen. And listen to me. I want you to know something. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, but I will go all the way even to the end of the world. And I got news for you. The other day, not too long ago, it's my favorite scripture, and I've been preaching it hard and heavy. I've been quoting it on the job. I've been giving it to everybody that I know to give it to. It's Romans 8 and 28. It says, all things work together for good to them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Amen. What's the best thing for you to do is give in his purpose. Not your purpose. Find his purpose in your life. Amen. amen. And I guarantee you, amen, if you can do that and you will do that, amen, you'll walk among the blessed. Amen. Well, oh, it's quiet tonight. <laughs> you didn't call me to come and talk to you said I can preach. That's amen. right, brother. But listen, I can imagine those Israelites standing there looking at that Red Sea. And every time they turned around, they saw a chariot coming, evil, trying to grab, grab onto them, clutch it onto them, and drag them back into slavery for the whip crack. And his fear whelming up inside of them, overpowering them. Looking at the Red Sea, and Moses got a message from God and said, We're going forward. You know, the thing that I never have been able to understand or comprehend in my mind with the Israelites the Red Sea parted. When Moses stretched forth his rod. And these Israelites did not even have to walk in mud. The Bible says God sent a wind and bloated and dried it. Dried their path. And while he was waiting for it to dry. And while they were standing there observing and watching everything God was doing. A pillow of fire was between them and the Egyptians that the Egyptians could see them but couldn't get to them. Do you know that's exactly what the blood does for me and you? Come on, Amen. Man. The blood stands between me and you and the devil. Amen. Amen. And I got news for you. The devil can't come through the blood to get you because if he does, he's the same devil. And he ain't coming through that blood. That's right. What do you say, preacher? Stay in the blood. Yeah. Stay on this side. Amen of the blood. I told the sister one time, she said, Preacher, every time you preach, it seems like I, I come to the altar and I know people are talking about it. I said, Don't talk. I said, Listen, sweetheart, if it takes it for you to get to glory, bring you a saddle to church. Put it on that altar. Put your feet in the skirt of that saddle and ride it until get to glory. Amen. Amen. Don't miss him. Because of what um, uh, somebody else thinks. Amen. They didn't die for you. They didn't take Come one on. slap in the face. They didn't take one go of a spit. Amen. But he took it all. That you could have life and have it more abundantly. But let me tell you something tonight. You're going to have to quit looking back. That's right. You're going to have to quit wondering what you could have been. That's right. Amen. And just let God get into your life. That's right. And walk with you today. Today, I love going across 85 down towards Durham. Other mornings, when the sun's coming up and the sun just reflects off of that lake, and sometimes I see the reflection of the trees. And I said, God, I just want to thank you that you let me take part of another day. I just want to thank you. And I'm here, Lord. I'm listening. I'm, I'm here if, if you need me to say anything. If you need, you know what he asked me the other day? And it just took me by surprise and just shocked me. He said, Steve, if I needed you to be, would you be an angel for me today? And I 
the body you need. What do you mean? He said, if I mean would you just take that old big truck and block it, block the highway for somebody being hurt, would you do it? I said, oh, yeah, well, I guess I could. If I needed you to stop and just tell somebody that Jesus loves them, would you do it? Yeah, Lord. Amen. See, Paul says we entertain angels unaware. Do you know that you could be an angel to somebody that is in desperate need? Did you know that? If you could get self out of the way and your selfish concerns and desires and, and, and well, I don't have this, I don't have that. If I had this, if I had that, if, 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 if. But in just saying, Lord, you woke me up this morning. I want to go forward with you. I'm going to walk by faith. Because I got news for you tonight, you that are sitting in this crowd. We used to have a saying up in the mountains from where I'm from that I'll believe it when I see it. Come on, brother. Huh? Anybody ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Well, not with God you won't. Not with God you won't. Because the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. And faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Preacher, how in the world? I've drunk whiskey all my life. I've, I've smoked dope for years. I took pills. I, 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 can't, I, I, I take the trembles. I take the shakes. I, don't, I can't get myself out of this. No, you can't. You certainly can't. He can do it. He can. Come on. He can. See, I've got news for you, Brother Jamie. He's not a God of just wanting to repair you. He wants to make you brand new. Amen. He wants to create a new you. Amen. He wants to start from the top of the head to go out to soldier and feet and make you brand If you're willing to go forward instead of backwards. If you're willing to quit living in regret, remorse, and sorrow. That's why I wanted to start this service tonight with a song of victory in Jesus. I heard an old one. How a Savior came from the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> How he laid his life on To save a wretch like me. <laughs> I got news for you. I know that I wasn't worth one drop of his blood that fell out. His holy, precious blood. I wasn't worthy of it. But I'm so thankful. And he did. Yes. And not only am I so grateful and thankful that he did, I'm so grateful and thankful that one day I made a decision I was going to believe it with all my heart. Not just my mind, but my heart. Why? Because the Bible says if a man believes with his heart and confesses with his mouth. Amen. Amen. Not with your mind. My mind plays tricks on me. My mind plays games on me. There's some days, Brother Jamie, I get up, I don't feel saved. But I am because I believe with my heart. That's right. Not with my mind. Today, I want you to know that Israel kept on believing the lie of the devil. No matter what God done for him, no matter how many times he, he brought food. You know, I mean, think about this. All they had to do, Brother Green, was get up in the morning and manna was laying on the earth for them to just go out and pick it eat. Even the curse, Brother Jamie, that was there upon Adam that said you will work until the, the, the ground by the sweat of your brow. They didn't even have to sweat for it, Brother Green. They just had to go out and be obedient and take just the amount that God wanted them to take. Water! Water don't touch out of rocks! But for them, it did. For them, it did. Yet they chose when the twelve spies went to the other side to Canaan to look and see what was there. To 
two out of the twelve came back and said, we can possess it. With God on our side and God as our leader, God as our captain, God as our fighter. Well, how did he know that, that, that God would fight for him? Because he told them that he would. I will fight for you, he said. Amen. Ten of them come back and convince the whole congregation of Israel. We can't take it. There's giants in the land. Their armies are too powerful. We can't take it. You know what happened, Brother Jamie? They broke God's heart. <laughs> they all but Brother Green told God, you ain't strong enough to help us win. You ain't strong enough to help us get it and win it. But the two that stood and said, we can do it by the help of God, we can do it, was Joshua and Cain. And God looked at him and said, you know what? You're going to wander in this wilderness for 40 years. You're going to wander till you ever want to die. Why? Because you could not trust me. You could not obey me. You could not walk by faith. The Bible says they cried all night long. They cried and wept. Brother Jackie, we can push God too far. Sure. That's right. Sure. And God said, you'll not get, not one of you will inherit it, but Joshua and Caleb. And the Bible says that this is what I love about God. You know when God gave it to Caleb, he was an old man, but he had the strength of a young one. <laughs> God said, hey, I don't care how old. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how decrepit you are. You're still going to enjoy what God is giving you. Amen. Amen. You say, preacher, I've wasted my life. I don't even have nothing to give God no more. <laughs> Ooh, you only do what He can do. If you only knew what He's capable of, He can take your upside down <coughs> smile and turn it up around. Yes, and people look at you and wonder, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with her? She smiles. He smiles all the time. He's got joy. And no matter what you do to him, you, you, you can't take it from him. I tell him, and you can go down there and see. I, if you don't believe me, I work at Gregory Pool in Melbourne. And when I went to work there, I told God, I said, I refuse to let them see me have a bad day. I refuse. I don't care how bad me and the devil is fighting in that truck. And let me tell you, he gives me some eye pokes. He gouges me. He hits me inside the head sometimes. But when I get out of that truck, I got a smile on my face. Amen. Amen. And they all know it too. But you know what they do? Amen. Instead of mocking me or laughing at me or thinking I'm weird or gay or queer or whatever. Every time one of them's got a problem, Sister Nadine, you know what they do? They slip me around the corner and say, hey, come here a minute. I need you to help me. What do you mean? I need you to help me pray my way through this. Amen. Oh, no. Amen. Amen. Why? Because I refuse to let them see what the devil is doing to me when he's fighting me, poking me, gouging me. Amen. And trying to get me to go back or look back behind me. Amen. No, I'm going forward. Amen. And I'm going to rejoice every day that my name is found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I'm going to sing glory and I'm going to sing praise. Amen. I'm going to laugh when I should be crying. I'm going to rejoice. Amen. When I should be mourning. Why? Because God is able to do that in our lives. Amen. Greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. Yes. I ask you tonight in this revival, this is first night of it right now. Amen. I ask you tomorrow night, come with a song in your heart. Talk to God tomorrow. Say, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'll praise you, Lord. I'll stand and rejoice. <laughs> I remember a boy telling me one night in the service. We was in the service, and uh, it was a mixed congregation, black and white. And uh, man, the Holy Spirit was just moving in that service. And there was two black sisters there, and one of them was holding a baby. Amen. And she just went to shout so bad she couldn't hold his hand because God was just touching. And God was blessing. 
And Jerry said he looked over and said that woman was holding the baby. He went to shout, cook, shout, amen, because she was holding the baby. He said she finally looked over at that other one and grabbed that baby and said, Hold my baby, I'm going to shout for a while. He said, oh, Boy, did she take her a spell. What the God we have that mentality? And what the God that when we come, we say, Devil, I'm going to shout tonight. I'm going to rejoice tonight. I'm going to praise the Lord tonight. You know what we do? We come to the service and say, God, if you bless me. God, if they sing my song. God, if I feel a chill bump. God, if my hair raises up. God, 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 if, if, if. I'll give you some praise and glory. No, bless God. We need to come into the shelter, amen, and say, God, you've already blessed me more than what I can pay you back. Yes. So I'm going to give you a wave offering. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to stomp my feet. I'm going to make a joy. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. 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 I'm going to rejoice. Yes. <coughs> I'd like for it to be so holy around here and the anointing flowing and the praise of God going up. To where these people around this community said, Hey, I don't know what's going on over there, but my hair stands up every time I was lying. <laughs> I don't know what kind of drug they got, but I sure like the time. <laughs> I don't know what they're shooting up on, but watch that bunch. And they keep coming back the next night after the next night after the next night, and they don't seem to have a hangover. And they're not walking in with their head hung down low because of something disgusting they had to do to get a high or to get a rush. But they're walking with a Bible under their arm and they're singing, oh, victory in Jesus. They're clapping their hands and they're squalling and they're screaming, carrying on. Amen. I think I want to mingle over and see what's going on. How many of you kids remember the song Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. You know what was going on? Jesus was coming through with the green. Miracles was being performed. And Zacchaeus was a little short man and he couldn't see. So what he said, I'm going to see what's going on. Amen. I'm going to climb this tree if I have to. I wonder how many of us would climb a tree. Amen. To get the praise of the Lord. To see what's going on in the presence of God. Amen. It might do us to climb a few trees around here. <laughs> yes, sir. And he had no clue, he had no idea, Jamie, that the Lord of Lord and the King of King and the miracle specialist was coming by that tree. And he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, come down out of that tree. I'm going to your house. <laughs> I'm going to your house today. Amen. Amen. What are you saying? Faith moves God. Yes. Faith moves God. He wants to go to your house today if you can believe. If you can be interested in going forward and not backwards. Amen. I say it like this and I'm going to hush. When the devil comes around you Reminding you of your past all the time and all those. I don't care. Listen, you can smile. Show me all you need. Smile all you want to. But I see through it. Yeah. All of us fail and come short of the Come on, brother. All of us. All of us. But listen. When you realize it ain't nothing good you've ever done to deserve the blood of Christ. Amen. It was a gift. Yes. Grace. The Bible says he commended his love towards you while he was had without strength and had nothing to offer. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. But I would to God that we had a few Davids in our land. David, the Bible says, was a little ruddy boy. How many of you count my clothes? Come on. Let's see that. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for your God for listening. They tell me it's church all the time. You close three times when you close. Amen. But David was the type of man, even when he was just a young boy, he would be up on the, on the hillside herding sheep while his brothers was out getting the glory of 
of being uh, war, men of war, men of anger. Thank you, Father. I said, no, you're ruddy, you're living, you're too little to do anything. You tend the sheep, you watch the sheep. And David would get up there and watch the sheep. Here come a bear. He'd run, grab the bear, get into a fight with it. He'd get into a fight with a lion, whatever. Just because you're little, don't mean you have to be a coward. That's right. Quit running for the devil, throw your fist up, and say, You come to me with the spirit and sword, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Yes. I'm tired of you pushing me around, I'm tired of you lying to me. I'm tired of you making me feel worthless and useless. I'm a child of God. Yes. I'm a joint heir of Jesus. I'm a child of the King. And I don't have to take your crap no more. Amen. I don't have to walk where I've been walking. I don't have to do the things I've been doing. I'm determined to change my tomorrow by asking Jesus to give me my tomorrow with me. Amen. David would get up on the backside of the hills and he would sing praises to God. And you know what I told him the other day? I said, can you imagine, can you imagine the God that we serve all of the stuff he hears every day, murmuring, crying, crying, grumbling, complaining, prayer after prayer after prayer after prayer. And yet this little this little boy up on the back side of the pastoral field somewhere was laying with his hands on and he was saying to the Lord and God said, Hush! I could hear God tell the angels now, Hush! Be quiet! Somebody's praising me from their heart. It's rare. Do you know that, that that's the way it is today? That when when people really get sincere with God, he says, I hear something. Rare. And he looks down and the devil tormenting and gouging and poking you and the demons are all laughing and mocking and all that. And you just sit there with your eyes closed and sing praise to God. God says, <laughs> Woo! We're gonna move for that one. God looked down and saw David and said, You know what? I'm gonna make a king like no other king like him. Amen. That little ruddy, and I make the, the Bible call him ruddy. Yeah. That little ruddy runt. Even his brothers mock him and laugh at him. But let me tell you something tonight. If you want to truly be something in God, you can be it. If you want to be it. There's not enough demon in hell to keep you from it. Come on, brother. There's not enough devils. Amen. Your mommy, your daddy, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, and your grandpa and grandma might not have nothing good to say about you. But my Jesus will give you a brand new soul. Amen. And he'll make something out of you if you're willing to go forward and not back. Well, Jane, I'm going to ask you to come up with time to come on and let's do a song. We're going to sing the song. We're not going to, we're not going to tire you out tonight. We're not going to keep going, keep going. But either you're going to do one of the two things. See, you messed up tonight by coming. Yeah, you did. You messed up by coming tonight. you got to make a decision. No, I ain't making no decision, preacher. I'm not making one tonight. There you go. Amen. There you go. Either you want to surrender to Him and let Him be the God of your life, the Savior of your, your life, or you walk away in defeat and listening to the lies of the devil. Telling you that you can never be nothing, you never was nothing, and you ain't never going to be nothing. Or you can come and get a brand new start tonight. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been to this church enough to know they love to pray. You don't have to come up here and be by yourself. I know these people at this church. 
They're not here to pick out your faults. They're not here to down you in any way. They are here to stop you and get behind you and love you and forgive you. Just like their Savior did for them. Would you come tonight and pray? When I'm 